I'll just continue scanning those though. Charging dock restored. Jack, now that we've completed optimizing your shield's radiation systems, I'm afraid there's nothing more to be gained from the dock's data. What's the point of an advanced network of semi-autonomous recharge stations if you can't count on them to calculate impressive optimizations for you? Hmm. I believe you are correct, Captain. The distributed computing power of the charging docks could be put to greater use. I... yes. That's precisely what I meant. Apollo, I believe I may be able to extend Jack's reach by about four meters. I hope that will be far enough. Affirmative. Just a few more scans should suffice, Jack. How's it looking out there, Jack? Manageable. How are your preparations coming? Quite well, actually. Just doing some light welding outside the ship. Juno is helping me get the intake systems ready for the materials we're gathering. Are you sure you should be exerting yourself, given your current condition? I can handle it. The infection's still dormant, remember? Assuming its status hasn't changed. Believe me. When it goes active, she'll know. There was some biomass research data in there. Just a small amount, but every bit helps with the cure. You all talk with each other in the background, I just do the job. <laughs> Shields at 95%. The stasis projection technology will be simpler to adapt than previously anticipated. If you scan one more cargo drone, I believe I will have enough data to complete your new tool. Would be nice if you find it for me. I'm literally in space, searching for things. I remember <laughs> what happened last time when I was searching for something. Got it. Good luck searching anything in space. Oh wow, I didn't notice that. <laughs> tool schematics complete. Please visit a fabricator to install your new tool jack. Most charging docks will have one nearby. Grip projector installed. To use your grip projector, simply point at a target. Activate the projector and direct it with your hand. Any sufficiently small piece of debris would be ideal to experiment on. Okay. So let me stop if on the station. If your tool works as intended, Jack, you should be able to access the fuel cells now. Good. Heading to the drive bay. Oh, wow. <laughs> we all have fun with this. Hell yeah! Off you go! Shields at 95%. <laughs> I'm back at the drive bay. Armed with the grip projector this time. Great. You should be able to remove those warheads now. Shields at 95%. Warheads removed. Entry into the drive bay is now clear. Copy that. Standing by. Now heading for the fuel cells. Great. We'll keep a working cargo drone on standby. Just look for a good fuel cell and we'll handle the rest. Roger <sighs> that. Cut them out. Apollo. Is this the only way into the drive bay? I'm afraid that's correct, Jack. The fuel cells are stable, but the same cannot be said of their contents. As a result, access is tightly restricted. The door can be opened, however, by using the nearby controls. Jesus, it's like a battlefield hero. A spent biomass torpedo. Just like every other that was left behind here. Useless for my research, unfortunately. As soon as one detonates, accessing its incubator is no longer tenable. 
Apollo, are these the door controls you mentioned? Correct. To open the door, both controls will need to be engaged at the same time. Oh, I got it. Jack, to gain access to the drive bay, you must activate a pair of controls near the door. <laughs> access to the drive bay. Wait, those pillars in the center are those? The Estrella's FTL drives, yes. Do they still work? Theoretically, but unfortunately they're of little use to us. With such a high concentration of biomass forms in this area, any attempt to remove one of the drives will prove futile. Dr. Harlan, I'm noticing these ticks appear to be less evolved than those we've previously encountered. Must have carried over from the last time jump. No doubt just as dangerous. I advise avoidance at all costs. Jack, my monitoring systems are offline here. You'll need to manually inspect each fuel cell in order to determine its viability. Simply scan their data ports to get started. They won't jump on me though. Well, I guess we have to be careful. Go into the windows where they are not around. At least there's a pattern. Jack, before we remove any fuel cells, you'll first need to check the condition. Access the data ports near the cells so I may expose them for your inspection. Ow! Fuel cell located. Use the data port and I'll expose the cell for visual inspection. Exposing fuel cell for your inspection check. Hmm, empty. I'll have to keep looking. That's not reassuring at all. I guess they have lower range, so... Accessing fuel cell. Maybe I'm fine. Another empty cell. Apollo? You're sure there's a good fuel cell there? I never said I was sure, Captain Rhodes. It's simply the most likely location on my ship to contain a viable fuel cell, if any were remaining. Right. If any were remaining. Jack. The data ports you need to access are located on the storage units running along the moon's blue. The units may be covered in biomass, but the techs seem to prefer the center of the room. This does not look good. These cells are all empty. Exposing fuel cell for inspection. You're too slow. Exposing cell for visual inspection. Finally. Viable fuel cell located. Hopefully enough to power Dr. Harlan's FTL drive. Nicely done, Jack. I'm sending a drone your way. Send two. What for? It's only one fuel cell. Just trust me. Send two. What are you planning? Warning. Blue drone compromised. Jack, what's going on? The text swarm the blue cargo drone. I don't think we'll be using that one again. Backup drone malfunctioning. More ticks. The lead drone is disabled, but the backup still has a chance. Pesky bastards, aren't they? I'll clear them off. I guess I have to throw them. I'm here. Get out! <laughs> it's funny that we can do that, but... Damn it. I'm not left-handed. Can I do it in my ride? <laughs> here we go.
some more. <laughs> Cargo drone cleared. Acknowledged. Thank you, Jack. Reserving flight. Hey, I'm coming with you. So cool. Drone is in place to collect the cargo. Activated the release controls on the fuel cell. Wait, what do you mean? Analyzing. Hmm. It appears optimizations were being tested on this cargo drone's maneuvering thrusters. Assuming other drones were testing similar optimizations, scanning their data ports should allow me to reverse engineer the concept and apply it to your own maneuvering thrusters making them more energy efficient. Copy that. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. I'll add a tracker to your data tab. Oh. Thank you. Fuel cell released. No, no, no. <laughs> I wanna... <laughs> To see the job through to the end, anyway. Okay, great. We'll see you in a bit. Cargo drone returning in T minus 10 seconds. Better grab on or stay clear, Jack. If you wish to return now, I advise taking hold of the drone. Cargo drone departing in three. <laughs> I'm not two, staying. One. Firing thrusters. Bye bye, suckers. Poor drone. Sacrifice has to be made. The fuel cell is clear of the drive bay. Right. Cross the cargo dumps ready to receive it here. I'm loving this sequel, like it's so much new stuff. In the same like you know setting, but just upgraded to the point that it's so much fun to play. A bit surprised to see welders haven't changed all that much in 400 years. That design is actually from a historical archive. It was the standard for most of the 23rd century. I'm afraid it's the closest approximation to a welder I could fabricate. I hope it's acceptable. Perfectly adequate, Juno. Thank you. Cargo inbound to destination. Decreasing speed for final descent. Looking good, cowboy Jack. <laughs> Steady as she goes. Hookup controls are over near the cargo clamps. Hey, Liv. I'm assuming the second one will be for biomass. Fuel cell in place and ready to be secured. For you, Jack. How will this fuel cell interface with the rest of the technology here? We've made some modifications on the receiving end, but ultimately what matters is that it can produce a strong enough burst of power to jumpstart the FTL reaction. A duty it should fulfill admirably. At least, for a single jump. Fuel cell secured. Copy that. I guess we'll be heading to the research facility then. That is where we'll be able to acquire a contained biomass sample, correct? Indeed. I'll provide further details once you're on site. Copy that. What? Liv, are you feeling well? Given your infection, I wanted to make sure. Thanks, Jack. Honestly, I feel fine physically. And mentally. I'm fine there too, Dr. Jack. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the state of this future is not great. 
But we've got a plan to fix it. And I've got work to keep me busy. Just soldiering on, you know? Indeed. You'll let me know if your condition changes. Of course.